Okay, Dawn. Here, get more microwave back in the house. And I have to get my flashlight there. And my magnifying glass. And I don't actually know how to use the uh, extra features on this one. I just hit numbers and make it go. But, uh, it's plugged into the same power strip down here. The one that I put the new end on. So I'm going to do uh, four minutes. Oh yeah, now one just starts going. But you can check the okay, power level 10. And that's the only level that will cook a TV dinner worth anything. This one sounds normal. It doesn't make that loud transformer buzzing noise. It, it doesn't have vents uh, over to the side like uh, like the uh, other one does or isn't hardly any in the back just right there where the uh, fans and the transformers are on the right side of it the way I'm looking at it here so uh, I'm just gonna let it run that whole four minutes that's a new batch of cold water cool water I poured that other out and let that dish cool down. That's a Pyrex that can stand heating up and cooling down, but I still don't want to shock it. And, uh, so, yeah, I believe I'll run around there and check that cord. I don't want to turn on that lamp in the living room while the microwave is running because that's a halogen bulb, and it has actually, in years past, caused them to blow the breaker while they're both running, so... get a focus on it but it's good not even warm so I keep thinking I might turn off this this camera and just use that wide shot I got going over there but uh, this one's definitely gonna get the better audio not that I'll probably edit them but Takes so long. I never. I like to make lots of videos lately since I got these cameras, but I don't. I don't have time to edit them. So, um, minute and thirty seconds left. That flashing light just says cook. can't get it, it's just too little. I can barely see it with the magnifying glass. Now that I know what it says, I can kind of see it from back here, but I'm farsighted, so I used to could see things from far, far away, and now I can't see things from anywhere, really. I have to wear these magnifying glasses. It's a dollar. Uh, call them dollar store, dime store. Well, we, when we was growing up, it was the dime store, the five and dime store. But, uh, Work seems to be working fine. So, perhaps I'm hoping now. As long as this thing works good, it's all right. I've hated it from day one because it wouldn't stay in the same power. It'll usually always do that once you unplug it and plug it back in while you're doing at least you know one one dinner or one whatever thing you're doing, and then it's sometime while you're gone it switches itself back to power level eight. <coughs> And uh, it might have been doing it. Sometimes it does it and you don't really notice it. Because the only way you can really tell is, is to uh, listen to it or punch that button. That's hot. Um, you know, to see the power level. But it, 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 the fan, it, it, you can hear it when it's kicking. It starts kicking on and off. The transformer and the fan both start kicking on and off when it's in power level 8. And it stays 
pretty much a steady, steady volume, you know, while it's in 10. Let me go check that cable one more time, and then I'll just shut down this video. <clears throat> this time I'll turn on the light, since the thing's not running. Need to move that light somewhere else. We haven't done it yet. Yeah, it's cool as a cucumber. Well, that's the new plug in and uh, new plug, female receptacle in there. So it's almost six five forty nine in the morning. Almost six. Somebody might be getting up soon, so I'll quit fooling around here. And. Uh, gonna figure we'll just start using it and see what it does that other one I'm gonna get in there and see what it's gonna take to send it back all right bye